Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the moment that no one has been waiting for, my full book review of The Intelligent Gardener by Steve Solomon. apologize ahead of time because I feel like as I'm putting these notes together and stuff that this video is gonna be even longer than I want it to be I apologize if this is longer than you expected let's get right down to it the book the intelligent gardener I am giving this book 9.5 out of 10 I really really want to give it 10 out of 10 I don't quite feel like I can because I'm just this pet peeve of mine the only thing the only thing that I did not like about this book was that there were some typos I also don't want to overstate that because I don't feel like typos are really a reflection of the author so much as they're a reflection on the editor if I was writing a book that was like 300 pages long I would be making so many mistakes so that's normal but that's what editors are for. So it does bug me when I get to a professionally printed book that still has like more than one. Other than the typos, this book is getting a 9.5 out of 10. It's engaging, it's informative, it's witty, it's just great, great book. This book made me wish that I had not skipped six weeks of chemistry class in grade 11. Not good. I did not see the importance of chemistry in like everyday life. Now I do. but. Don't be afraid. It's still written in such a way that you will understand it anyways. So it wasn't a real detriment to me. It just made me really wish that I had paid attention and actually gone to class. Excuse me while I pick something out of my eye. Here are five things that I learned from this book. Honestly, I liked pretty much everything about this book. I like that he sheds on even the underlying agendas in the farming, agriculture, gardening industry. Big business in every single kind of industry out there plays a big role. It's a money game out there. And I did not realize how that truly affected gardening in particular, like home gardening or homesteading or whatever like that. I didn't realize what the impact was there. I also kind of like that he points out as well that gardening is kind of like everything else. Like people who step outside the box and question what's going on have sort of been silenced actually, even in gardening. There are people who don't want their ideas to be challenged and historically that's happened with gardening, so he sheds light into that too. This whole sort of shutting down of people who are speaking out against conventional wisdom actually has contributed to the reason why we have such a limited understanding of nutrition and health and soil fertility today in general. I also really like that in this book, he points out his own gardening mistakes and he gives you a sense of how he has journeyed in his knowledge and understanding of gardening and soil fertility over the years, which paints a really good picture for you that he's not just saying this unconventional things about soil fertility and remineralization as just some hobo off the street. He actually has experience and he's made a lot of mistakes and the fact that he can acknowledge that I think is awesome. Something else that I really like about this book as well is that he also talks about his journey with his health. So he talks about the different places that he's lived, the different soil fertility, where he lived, and how that affected his health. It's just the obvious like, this is what this was like this is the result so that you can see not just based on the scientific evidence but also from his own experience he's showing you like this physically happened to me when I was on this soil this happened when I was in this place this happened so you get a good sense of that as well through the book as I read it I put notes on some favorite quotes of mine so I'm just gonna go through I'm gonna read you a couple of my favorite quotes just to give you a taste of what this book is like <laughs> Soil mineral balancing is not in any way a contradiction of the organic system. It is a natural extension of it, 
as well as being the prerequisite action needed to make organics work as well as they should. In a deficient district, most of the surrounding vegetation will be similarly deficient in these elements. Fertilizing a garden by composting local vegetation and animal manures derived from the same kind of vegetation will only magnify the regional soil imbalance. Compost gardening grows nutrient-dense food when the materials being composted come from balanced, fertile soil. And two, when organic matter grown on unbalanced soil is concentrated into a similarly unbalanced soil, it does increase overall mineralization, but simultaneously exaggerates the existing lack of balance and does not grow highly nutritious food. So to conclude, I just want to specify one thing, and that is the definition of success when it comes to gardening. Success is not interpreted solely in terms of how much you get. So not in terms of just the yield, like you can have a high yielding plot of potatoes that doesn't yield nutrient dense food. And that's not what I want to do. Maybe it's not what you want to do. Maybe it is what you want to do. If it is what you want to do and you don't care about nutrient density, then there's really no reason for you to read this book. If you do care, if you're a gardener, if you're a homesteader, if you want to be self-sufficient, if you're a farmer, if you're an agronomist, anybody who's interested in this kind of thing who wants to be eating and producing nutrient dense food that's actually going to give you the health benefits that eating healthy should give you, you need to read this book. I do highly recommend it. So if you're uh, thinking of starting a garden, this is like the first book that I would read. I wish that I had read this book a few years ago when I had first started. I also want to talk about, I want to talk about my soil results. It is so exciting. One more thing I want to mention is that Steve Solomon also co-founded a website called soilandhealth.org org i think basically what's on there is an online library where you can download any resources he's got resources in composting and self-sufficiency gardening and agriculture and stuff like that these are books that are either out of print or they're public domain so you can go and you can download pdf versions of the books that he has in his online library for free Thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with me. I know this is kind of a long video. I hope you enjoyed it, but more than that, I hope that it helped you. I hope this book is gonna make you a better gardener.